Good morning, folks. We're going to hit several items today. Bit of space weather, the weather alert for the United States, a scar on a star, and three top science articles from the journals. We are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on the sun, and the separated magnetic character of the huge northern sunspots has sent them into a slumber. No significant flares or eruptions. We have a touch of geomagnetic instability here at Earth due to a magnetic reorientation in the solar wind, but it is very minor. As the big northern sunspots are heading for the departing limb, we've also got sunspots incoming behind them. They are interestingly aligned on the left side. They are small at the moment, but we'll be monitoring all those incoming spots to see their development over the next day or two. We've covered this a few days ago, but now it's time and it's here. A low pressure system is descending into the Midwest and is going to drive two days of severe weather. The convergence line will produce potentially damaging conditions near the Great Lakes tonight and a little bit to the south, and it will further slide towards the coast for a repeat severe weather alert to the east tomorrow. Eyes open this evening for hail, extreme wind, and tornado activity. First up in the links is a metal scar found on a star. They say it's due to pieces of destroyed planets falling into it. It's likely that a nova event at the star destroyed those planets, and now they are being eaten by the star and changing the spectroscopic appearance of its returns. Heading to the journals, we begin with yet another study on the total electron content anomalies in the atmosphere before big earthquakes. Good look here at one of the bigger events of 2022. We've also got a good one here on how the sun controls millennial scale hydroclimate events. We've seen this conclusion before, especially in relation to the green Sahara periods. This one looking at the climate in China, largely related to monsoon patterns. And last but not least, interesting paper out on the Pinatubo eruption, considered the standard model for the horrible idea of spraying the sky to modify the weather, but they conclude not only will it not work so well, but there will be significant side effects. Always going to applaud a paper that says geoengineering is a bad idea. Lastly, if you missed it yesterday, we'll be doing a special live stream for the subscribers of the Observer Review e-magazine tomorrow evening. Subscribers, please check your email for details. Best way to stay updated on the top science news and context from month to month is the Observer Review. You can sign up at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.